What's going on, YouTube? In this video, Kaito, Kai, AK, and I trio Latias in sunny weather, and we all used a certain Pokemon. I used Origin Form Giratina, Kai, AK used Dialga, and Kaito Nolan used Palkia, the creation trio from Gen 4. Now, we could have done like 18 unique, but we did that last time Latias and Latios were here. They've been brought back a few times. You can see Dialga, Palkia right there. Now, this moveset is Charm and Outrage. So that Charm is going to be doing double super effective against my Giratina. And single super effective against with the Outrage. Here we go. My first Giratina is about to go down. Okay, Giratina number two. I'm so, uh, Kaito loves Palkia, so that's why she took Palkia. I wanted to use Palkia myself. My Giratinas aren't the best. Some of them are okay, but like my last two are pretty low IV. What number is this? Number three? Yeah, Giratina number three. You can see that uh, Dragon Breath on the Dialga. And just to let you guys know, I'm going to upload one more Reshiram duo that I did a few days ago in sunny weather with Escadrill, probably either tomorrow or Monday, before Zekrom comes out on Tuesday, and I'll see if I can do anything with Zekrom. It might be delayed a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, back to this raid. I'm still, is this fourth? or? F okay, now I'm on my fifth Giratina. This one has two moves. And I'm sure I've talked about this before, but for those who don't remember or didn't watch that video, the reason this one has two moves was because when Origin Form Giratina was released for the first time, Kaito and I were trying to do a 12 unique duo, but we needed an actual Origin Form Giratina, so I just maxed that one out. But at the time, I had like no TMs. No charge TMs. So my only hope was to give it the extra charge move. Okay, first one went down. I'm about to re-lobby. Anyway, let me finish that story. I had to give it the extra charge move since I didn't have any charge TM. But I did have a bunch of candies because the altered form had been brought back multiple times. So I had a decent amount of Giratina candies. And this 15, 13, 13 was the best one that I caught like the first day that Giratina was released. Okay, so my hundo went down. I actually have that best buddy, but I didn't want to swap it. I probably should have. Maybe I wouldn't have to dodge because I had to dodge a bunch towards the end of this raid. And I'll talk about something else just to let you guys know. And once the fifth Giratina comes up, we did flip yellow like at 162, something like that. Okay, Giratina number three. That hundo was the one that I was using for PvP, but you know, I ha I've like I've talked about this before, but I don't PvP at all. I have not played basically at all during season two. Just lost a lot of interest. So now, now that you know all these new raid bosses are coming out, so I'm more back into the raid scene. Which I enjoy. Okay. Get the shadow wall off. Bam. Okay, this one's gonna go down after this outrage. Okay, this is the this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, okay, let's see once I get the energy. This is not the scenario yet. Okay, everything's smooth so far. I dodged there. See, right here, I was trying to get off the Shadow Ball, but I couldn't. Because my phone, I cracked the screen like a few months ago, so the touch sensitivity kind of got messed up. So anytime I go in with like a two-bar charge move Pokemon, the one, the charge move on the right, I always sometimes struggle to press it. I don't know why. Maybe I need to go get it fixed again. But we'll see. Now I'm on my last Giratina and I have to dodge a bunch here. This trio is actually much tougher than I thought. We tried a no revive trio against uh, Zen Headbutt Outrage. But it was too difficult. Maybe. I don't know if we'll have time to do that. Okay, come on. Get this Shadow Ball off. Oh, I dodged. Can I get another Shadow Ball right here? Okay, I'm pretty sure I dodged the next Outrage. Yeah, look how much sliver of HP I have left. 
and they finished it. I can see the Draco Meteor come in and 15 second confetti drop. And I think it took me a very long time to catch this. 1969. I forget. What's this? Someone let me know in the comments. What's the CP for the Hundo Latios? Because I don't remember. Okay, two great throws. And I'm going to show you guys after I catch this. I did manage to reach 200 million XP. Now, I don't lucky. Egg. I have not lucky egged at all since I hit level 40. Because otherwise I could have had like maybe 400 XP if I would play it. But I'm just not interested in XP at all. I think once you hit... And now if those levels, still new levels, then I would be more into it. But... For now, I just I just stick to raiding and catching Pokemon. That's really my main priority. Catching legendaries, make it full teams. Okay. Quit being annoying, Latias. I missed there. I can't hit excellent on this. I need to practice more. I'm really bad at throwing. Plus, any raid boss that moves up and down is pretty hard to ha pretty hard to hit. Yeah, I can get greats, but no excellent. He broke out. I do have a hundred percent Latias that I do want to max out one day. Is that it? No. Okay. Will this throw will be it right here? Or will it run? Is it gonna attack or no? Just sitting there. Oh man. It moved up. I'm wasting so much time waiting on this, but. Oh, wow. Just throw it, Oscar. Come on. There we go. Got a great at least. And it broke out again. Okay, Golden Raz. I think this is it. This is it right here. Bam. Is that it? No. Okay. No wonder this video was so long when I was editing it. Oh, critical. Alright. Catch a dragon type quest. And bad IV. Yeah, I've spent a lot of dust the past few days. And here you guys go. I'm going to show you my XP right here. All right. There's the 200 total XP. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing.